I pulled these out after 10 minutes at 350. Nice and GBD. To a little bowl, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of salt, just like a half teaspoon of citric acid. Give that a little tossy toss. And then that can get sprinkled all over the chicken. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, look at that. Beautiful, crispy chicken skin. Isn't that nice? Now these get left out. Do not refrigerate these because then they'll soften up. They'll lose all their crisp. These are totally fine to stay out. We would leave these out in containers with just like some plastic wrap over it and it's good. So yeah, just leave this out. You can also just sort of chicken skin that I can sprinkle on things. It's delicious. So this is the part where I clean my fridge out for random things that are going bad or just left over. So like, got a bunch of scallions. That can go in the pot. Leftover poblano chili in the pot. Corn in the husk. Sure, that can go in the pot as well. You get the point. If you have any like leftover veggies you're not using, toss them in. This is uh, kind of going bad, wilty. I'll toss that in too. I have some carrots that I probably will not use and that's gonna go in the pot. And now... Coming to you the next day um, because I made stock. Yeah, what you could do is you could take the, le the leftover carcass, the bones, all that stuff, put that in a pot. And if you want it to be really, really nice, super low, all night, then you wake up the next day to something like this right here. This is hella reduced. This is gonna be a really nice bone broth. It's gonna be like jello when it's cooled down. This is called a spider. I'm not feeling too good right now. Once again, it's been like a long cold that I'm having. Um, so I'll probably just end up drinking all this bone broth. Um, this stuff is supposed to be really good for you when you're sick. A lot of nutrients. I love it when this happens. I didn't even plan this and it's just a perfect fit for this container. When this stuff cools off, all that fat is going to come to the top. And if I wanted to, I could skim that fat off and make a gravy with it. There's so much you can do with a chicken. There, re there really is. Like, that's why I uh, wanted to make this video. It might be pretty simple, right? I mean, there's not much I'm doing in this video. I made some chicken chips. I pulled some chicken. I make some stock. But, like, it's just to show people that don't know. I think I'm going to start getting more into uh, legumes, like beans, lentils cannellinis because a doctor said I had some elevated cholesterol so I might have to do that I also have been drinking um, diluted by the way I've been drinking a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with some lemon in water every day and that's supposed to help as well but yeah I'm just trying to show you guys what I would do with the rotisserie chicken to make it not last longer, to make it stretch. You've got lots of pulled chicken left over here. You've got lots of stock right here. You can make a gravy, you can make a sauce, you could drink the bone broth, you can make a soup, chicken noodle soup. I mean, just something like this alone, like this carton right here is $12. The chicken, the rotisserie cooked chicken cost me $6. So just to show you like, I've already made money there. I mean, just these skin chips alone, that's an amazing garnish. These have been left out all night, by the way, and look, they're still crispy. Put that on rice and it's fucking delicious, tell you. What would you guys do with the rotisserie chicken? How would you stretch it?